In the realm of African royalty, where age-old traditions and regal customs hold steadfast, there once lived a king who defied expectations and challenged the norms. This captivating tale takes us to a momentous encounter between an African king, whose name echoed with the weight of his ancestral legacy, and Queen Elizabeth II, the revered monarch of the United Kingdom. It was a meeting that would forever be etched in history, for this African king, undeterred by conventional protocol, dared to stand firm, refusing to bow in deference to Her Majesty. Embarking on a journey of cultural independence and unyielding pride, this remarkable king forged an indomitable path, leaving an indelible mark on the pages of time. This is the story of Atta Aime Obani, the Nigerian king who chose suicide instead of bowing to the Queen of England. In the picturesque village of Uwalawo, nestled near the verdant lands of Kogi State, Nigeria, a destined soul took its first breath in the year 1911. This blessed child, King Ada Aime Oboni, would emerge as a beacon of hope and a symbol of leadership for his people, the Aigala. From an early age, it was evident that he possessed the rare qualities of wisdom, charisma, and a deep connection to his ancestral roots. As the seasons turned and the years unfurled their tapestry, the young Ada Aime Oboni gradually emerged as the heir apparent to the illustrious Ada throne. The weight of responsibility settled upon his shoulders, but he bore it with grace, dedicating himself to the pursuit of knowledge and understanding. Guided by the wisdom passed down through generations, he honed his intellect, imbibing the teachings of his forefathers, and imprinted their profound wisdom upon his very being. Under King Ada Aime Oboni's reign, the Aigala kingdom experienced a period of remarkable progress and prosperity. Fueled by his visionary leadership, the land witnessed an unprecedented economic boom, breathing life into its markets and instilling a renewed sense of hope within the hearts of its inhabitants. The king's unwavering dedication to his people manifested through various initiatives, one of which was the expansion of native schools. Recognizing the importance of education in empowering future generations, he invested in the growth and development of educational institutions, nurturing young minds and opening doors to a brighter future. Beyond the material accomplishments, King Ada Aime Oboni's reign was defined by his unwavering commitment to preserving and honoring the traditions and cultural heritage of the Igala people. He embraced the rich tapestry of Igala customs, fostering a sense of pride and identity among his subjects. Through his regal presence and noble actions, he became a living embodiment of the values and aspirations cherished by his ancestors, serving as a guiding light for his people during times of celebration and tribulation alike. Beyond his esteemed position as an African traditional ruler, King Ada Aime Oboni possessed a power that transcended the boundaries of the earthly realm. His words held an otherworldly potency, for when he spoke, the very fabric of reality seemed to shift, aligning itself with his command. His profound ability to make accurate predictions and see the unseen was nothing short of extraordinary, leaving those who witnessed his supernatural prowess in awe. Many people were aware of his magical powers, and they marveled at this unique supernatural ability that he had. King Ada Aime Oboni wielded not only the power to govern his kingdom, but also the authority to address instances of misbehavior, disobedience, and disrespect. When faced with such challenges, he fearlessly exercised his right to pronounce judgment, and the consequences he spoke of swiftly manifested. There was no holding back his words when the situation demanded it, and the immediate realization of his pronouncements instilled a sense of awe and reverence among his subjects. As a ruler, King Atta's position came with a set of traditional requirements, some of which appeared unusual to outsiders. These unique customs were deeply rooted in the cultural fabric of Igala society. For instance, as a king, he was prohibited from laying eyes upon dead bodies, a practice believed to protect him from the negative energies associated with death. Additionally, he was expected to retain his cap in the presence of others, symbolizing his regal status and maintaining a sense of dignity. Another custom dictated that he refrain from shaking hands with women, a gesture rooted in preserving the sanctity and respect for women within the Igala community. However, despite the cultural significance of these traditional requirements, some of them eventually posed challenges for King Ada. The strict adherence to these rules, 
while essential for preserving tradition and societal norms, created instances where interactions and protocol clashed with contemporary circumstances. These conflicts brought unforeseen problems for the king, forcing him to navigate the delicate balance between upholding his royal duties and respecting the changing dynamics of the world around him. King Ada Aime Oboni's reign stands as a testament to the intricate complexities of traditional customs and their potential clash with the evolving realities of a changing society. While these rules were designed to preserve the rich heritage and honor of the Egala kingdom, they also presented the ruler with unique challenges. Through his leadership and wisdom, King Ada demonstrated the importance of adapting and finding a delicate equilibrium between upholding tradition and embracing the dynamics of the modern world. During a momentous gathering in Kaduna, where paramount traditional rulers from across Nigeria convened, the esteemed Queen of England graced the event with her presence. In this distinguished gathering, King Ada Amen found himself facing a unique challenge. As customary protocol dictated, it was expected for all attendees to remove their caps as a sign of respect when greeting the Queen. However, for Ada Amen, who adhered steadfastly to the traditional requirements of his kingship, this posed a dilemma. Standing resolute in his beliefs and traditions, he chose to maintain the integrity of his customs, refraining from removing his cap, even in the presence of royalty. After much persistence and a threat to send him out and dethrone him if he refused to remove his cap, Ada was forced to remove it and he tried to bow to the queen. He had a lot at stake, and any dethronement would deter his descendants from having any access to the throne. His people perceived him as a mini-god, and bowing to a human seemed like an insult. Reluctantly, Ada yielded to the demand, complying by removing his cap. To the astonishment of everyone present, as soon as the cap was lifted, a swarm of bees emerged from its depths, filling the meeting hall in a flurry of buzzing activity. Panic ensued as attendees hastily fled, attempting to avoid the stinging insects that now occupied the space. Regrettably, some individuals fell victim to the bees' stings, abruptly terminating the meeting and casting a cloud of disruption over the gathering. Meanwhile, in the midst of this chaos, Ada's quick thinking and wisdom shone through. Sensing the potential outcome, he had advised the Oba of Benin, another esteemed king, to step outside before removing his own cap. This astute guidance spared the Oba and his entourage from being caught up in the swarm of bees, allowing them to witness the unfolding commotion from a safe distance. Ada's foresight and timely counsel demonstrated his role as not only a ruler but also a wise advisor, protecting his fellow monarch from the unexpected consequences that had befallen him. Ada Ame Oboni was instructed to be apprehended and handcuffed by security personnel. However, to the astonishment of all, the handcuffs mysteriously slipped off his hands, defying any explanation. The uncanny incident left those present in awe, witnessing a display of an inexplicable force at play. After being apprehended, King Ada Aime Oboni was confined to a room as per the instructions of the northern rulers. He was placed under the watchful guard of security personnel who believed that their captive monarch would remain confined within the confines of the room. However, to their utter astonishment, it was revealed later that Ada had mysteriously vanished from the room. The security personnel themselves were the ones who discovered his absence, left perplexed and searching for answers. Unbeknownst to his captors, King Ada had devised a clever plan during the process of being taken into custody. As the security personnel led him towards the room, he discreetly conveyed instructions to his loyal driver, Amanabo, who would prove instrumental in his escape. Ata entrusted Amanabo with an important task, to take the car and drive back to their hometown of Ida, leaving the security personnel unaware of their departure. Although Amanabo initially hesitated, concerned about leaving his beloved Ata behind, the king insisted, assuring him of his safety and urging him to proceed without looking back until a cool breeze enveloped the car. With a mix of apprehension and trust, Amanabo reluctantly complied with Ada's instructions, setting their journey in motion from Kaduna to Ida. As they drove away, Ada remained locked within the confines of the room, his captors unaware that their captive had already eluded their grasp. Meanwhile, Amanabo navigated the roads with both anticipation and trepidation, 
grappling with conflicting emotions as he embarked on this extraordinary mission. He kept his gaze fixed firmly ahead, resisting the temptation to glance back, awaiting the promised signal of a cool breeze that would signify Ada's safety and well-being. The journey back to Ida was fraught with tension, as Amanabo's mind oscillated between concern for his king and the determination to fulfill his entrusted task. Finally, as if guided by an unseen force, a refreshing coolness swept through the car, validating Ada's guidance. Amanabo knew that his beloved Ada was secure, his escape a remarkable testament to the indomitable spirit and resourcefulness of a king who had defied captivity. In the annals of history, this daring escape would become a testament to King Ada Aime Oboni's unwavering resolve, the loyalty of his devoted driver Amanabo, and the enigmatic powers that seemed to conspire in his favor. The people of Igala land would forever recount this remarkable tale, celebrating the cunning and bravery of their revered king who, against all odds, managed to outwit his captors and return to his beloved kingdom. This very act of his will set in motion a series of events that will lead to his demise as he became an enemy to the northern leaders and the queen. The Osho is celebrated before farming starts, and it is the time that Ada Aigala prays to God for sufficient rainfall, a bountiful harvest, and success in hunting. He performs a little sacrifice to the ancestors, using a fowl in the process, and this was to find out if there will be blessings or problems in the land after the Osho. The blood of the animal used as a sacrifice at Ocho ground now became what the enemies would use against him. Following accusations of human sacrifices during the Ocho festivals, a petition was submitted by two Igala individuals to the queen and northern leaders. Without completing thorough investigations, Ada Aime was swiftly judged and deemed unfit to rule, resulting in his dethronement. Consequently, all Igala cultural festivals, including the Ocho, were immediately banned, a prohibition that lasted for nearly 63 years. Eventually, Governor Yehayabello responded to the present Ada Igala's appeal and lifted the ban, allowing for the revival of cherished cultural traditions. Today, the reinstated festivals serve as a testament to the resilience and heritage of the Igala people. With an unwavering conviction in his righteousness and a deep belief in divine justice, Ada Aime boldly uttered his final prophetic words before his passing. He foresaw the impending consequences for those who had conspired against him, particularly the individuals behind the petition that marked the beginning of his plan to dethronement. The hand that wrote the petition shall wither, he proclaimed, ensuring that the weight of their actions would bear a tangible and irreversible consequence. Furthermore, he declared that the leader of this group would experience an extraordinary fate, being laid to rest not once, but three times. Remarkably, these prophetic pronouncements came to fruition, leaving witnesses astounded by the seemingly supernatural power behind Atta's words. The fulfillment of Ada Amy's foretelling left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of the Igala community. It served as a testament to his unwavering faith, unwavering in his own innocence and the ultimate triumph of truth over deceit. The events that unfolded stood as a vivid reminder of the inherent consequences of one's actions and the profound weight carried by words spoken by a revered ruler. Atta's prophetic legacy would be etched in the annals of history, serving as a powerful reminder of the intertwined forces of destiny and justice that permeate the human experience. Ada Aime in his wisdom proclaimed another profound prophecy amidst the turmoil caused by the Igala people's betrayal. He asserted that discord would persist among the Igala community until the reign of his own blood, his son, as Ada. Additionally, he foresaw a future where all Igalas, regardless of their geographical locations, would be united once more. This declaration carried a message of hope, as it emphasized the eventual restoration of harmony and unity among the Igala people, a vision that would materialize under the leadership of Ada Aime's rightful successor. The story of King Ada Aime Oboni, his defiance against false accusations, and his prophetic pronouncements leaves a lasting imprint on the history of the Igala people. His unwavering belief in his innocence and the manifestation of his prophecies showcase the intertwined forces of justice and destiny. Through his legacy, Ada Aime reminds us of the power of truth, 
the consequences of one's actions, and the potential for unity and harmony to be restored even in the face of adversity. His story serves as a testament to the resilience, wisdom, and enduring spirit of the Igala community. If you found this video interesting, why not hit the like button? This will help many people find this video and help us grow too.